moving on from that one, let's talk about this quickly. Have you guys seen this? This is pretty crazy. And but also not to not unexpected. So this is courtesy of TMZ. Six nine brutally attacked in Florida gym. I'm sure most of you guys have seen this. It's gone viral all over the place. Um, he's in a what was he in? I think a 24 hour fitness or something, and he got assaulted by some guys in the toilet. It looks like stomped all over the place. I'm not going to show the video because I don't want to get taken down. But essentially, got beaten up, kind of bloody, kind of blue, and looked really a kind of a mess overall, right? So, when it comes to this story, the interesting thing about me for this is once is this is obviously in my opinion something that was always bound to happen right and i'm kind of because there's been this weird conversation around people talking about oh why didn't he have security and he was not moving right and meow, 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 meow. but am i the only person just again looking from the outside in ever since this guy kind of you know snitched in court and then decided to come out because I think once he snitched in court, I think everybody thought he was going to come out and be like a gospel preacher or something, right? And decide to give his life to Christ or become Muslim or something and just completely change his life around. Instead, he kind of doubled down and essentially, you know, used the whole snitching thing as an opportunity to say, hey, the reason why I snitched was because my ex gang members were threatening my life. They were trying to, they were smashing my baby mother and all this malarkey and they were betraying me. They kidnapped me. So I was left in no position. That was kind of his angle of kind of snitching and stuff, which obviously no one kind of bought. But he basically doubled down on it and basically said, hey, I snitched and what? If you want to get me, I'm here. So he kind of, you know, kind of goading people into trying to touch him if they're that real. But I also thought there was a point when it came to him not using security anymore where it felt like he kind of has a death wish. Maybe the fact that he did snitch and he did legitimately put loads of people in prison. R the recent guy, Kuda B, which is the most, I think, egregious story of the whole 6 9 thing. The whole 6 9 thing, I think, is super egregious because he it, it wasn't like he was like a he was like a guy in the background that wanted, didn't want to get involved. He was the guy that was starting some of the issues that Treyway then had to come up and clean up as a gang. Like he was the one that was goading others into doing things. And one of the most egregious ones, I think, was a Kuda B thing. The Kuda B thing is another rapper within Treyway who allegedly 6 9 paid him money to go and attempt to assassinate Chief Keith. It didn't happen, didn't, you know, I think it was a it was a bad hit. I think he ended up shooting up a shop or something. But he paid the kid money. Then of course he snitches on him. Then he gets out early and the guy goes in prison for like five years or however much it is. He just recently got out recently. And I thought that was heinous. Like, how can you pay someone money to do a hit, snitch on them? And then you come out of jail before they do. So, you know, he ruined a lot of people's lives. So maybe so part of me thinks to me, maybe he has that on his conscious and it's been eating away at him. And now he's got this death wish where he would rather someone take him out. So he's kind of purposely putting himself in positions where he might come across regular people who might have something to say or might want to get some clout or whatever it may be or the five minutes of fame. Because I don't know, I just get the feeling that he's not really operating with a sound mind he's kind of in that kind of weird autopilot thing of like whatever happens today happens if someone comes up and blows my head off it kind of is what it is i don't know i kind of think that kind of is happening or it could be he's just made it up and it's a whole prank i don't know but i thought that was a little bit strange that, that kind of happened out of the blue out of the sudden when he kind of hasn't been touched before i'm not really sure but <clears throat> that happened you know hopefully he recovers and stuff and <clears throat> we don't see any more of that violence going forward but you know, we probably end up will. We probably end up will.